Come get some cheap Famiclone action. Hey there, real gamers. Retro Rob here, and welcome to Retro Rob Plays Everything. Got another mailbag from Timu. Guess what? I've got something. So, and I know, I know. I always say it's special, but today I've got a handheld game system so special, so amazing that it simply goes by the name Game Console. You can't beat that. You cannot touch it. It doesn't even need to be. Yeah, all right, it says S8 on it. But still, it's, it's so special and so just... It embodies everything in gaming. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know. Might have to just shut down the channel after this. There's no need for anything past the game console. My goodness, Timu, you've done it again. You've also crushed the box again. <sighs> oh, Timu, I love you. Anyway, even though this is the most awesome thing I've ever seen, we're going to start it like every other video. We're going to start with the front of the box. Crushing brought to you by Timu. Timu, we know how to crush boxes. Look, this is constructive criticism, okay? I love Timu. I, I, I constantly buy stuff from them. Seriously, constantly. Um, but man, they're, they're shipping. Ugh. It's, it, it's fast, but uh, they just throw everything in a bag. And it's gone. If they had garbage bags, I'm pretty sure they'd ship them in them. So, just something to notice. Um, that said, I, I've never had a problem with things actually showing up. So, you know, that's better than what I get off of AliExpress. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, I, I'm i not sure whether... S8, I guess, maybe? It says mode number, so I'm not... I'm not, not sure what we're... I don't know. S8 game console, maybe it is. 520 classic games. Massive classic games. Review childhood memories. Uh, upgrade 520 games. Uh, can't read that, but it's something about the battery. Connect TV. Upgrade standby time. And HD screen. I am so excited, but. We have to look at the back of the box. Product features. Oh man, I I don't want to go. Wait, we're gonna have to zoom this in. Ah, there we go. All right, product features. Send him a childhood memory. <laughs> I'm gonna love this one. 2.4 inch soft light high definition color screen. Big screen doesn't hurt eyes. 520 classic games, massive classic games, review childhood memories as said on the front. TV HD output, I can guarantee that's not true. Support HDM connector to TV. <laughs> I don't, I, maybe. I, all right, I haven't looked. That's true. So maybe it's possible. <sighs> I could be wrong. Could be de it wouldn't be the first time. Anyway, comfortable handle. Support for double, parent, child, and double, and best friend. Oh, wait, and couple, and best friend. That's a lot of people they can support. Physical shortcut keys, micro-frosting feel, independent keys, long-lasting grip, no sweat, homeboy. Doesn't say homeboy. Rechargeable, play without stop, 1020 milliamp lithium battery. The game machine capacity can last about six to seven hours. All right, let's open this up. Man, the hype train on this one does not stop. By the way, I don't think this is included with it, but it does show a possibly unrelated controller. <sighs> yeah. Hmm. Doesn't bode well for the HD. All right. There we go. Doing it the hard way. Okay, game console itself. We'll come back to this guy. We're going to have to assemble him, I think. We got a manual in black and white. It's, oh, it's a poster. So it's a poster style one. There we go. A little bit about the, there's installation. A little bit about the console itself. 
Not terrible. Not, you know, nothing special. It's very thin. That said, I would call it environmentally friendly. We have about a three foot AV cord. It is, it's pretty cheap. Um, the cable's not super thin. It's not offensively thin. Um, the, the end of the cable is not, it took me, what, five second pause to say end of the cable. Anyway, end of the cable, it's not offensive. Um, these are not offensive, but they are, you can see, like, it's really thin there. Got some aluminum foil. Got a battery. BL5C, 3.7 volts. Yeah. Okay. And then, of course, we have a charging cable. The charging cable is micro USB. It's actually fairly long. I'd probably put it at, yeah, probably about four feet. And uh, look at that. It's not bad, actually. This feels much better than the AV cable. Not bad at all. All right. Pop this into the back. And there's, there's our battery. It appears that you can only use uh, this kind of battery. And it's a pretty common battery among these, but uh, no, no double A's. Okay, here we go. Well, clearly I'm gonna have to go off screen to peel this off. Oh, terrifying. There we go. All right, quick walk around of the S8. We've got the D-pad, which is pretty terrifyingly flat. We've got this volume button. There's only one volume button. Sadly, so that means you're gonna cycle through the volume. We have got a reset button here select start a b x y Which of course are a b and you know some turbos. I'm guessing they're turbos. Sometimes they're not We have a flip switch power supply on the top. I actually appreciate those and we've got a v out and We've got micro USB charging. It's pretty much it pretty basic device let's power it on all right I've got it cranked and it sounds pretty tinny and very <laughs> in the mid-range it's a bit better I mean it still sounds pretty pretty rough to be honest we've got Chinese and English we've got Santa who uh, due to budget constraints, has been cut down to one reindeer. He's much slower to deliver now. All right, I gotta turn that down. I can't take it. 520 in one. And, um, ah, you're seeing lines on the screen. There, is that a little better? A little better? I hope it is. Anyway. Yeah, the 520... Uh, it starts repeating fairly quickly. I think we've seen this collection before. Got Battle City in there, though. Ye Are Kung Fu, which is quite good. You got 1942. Got some Donkey Kong in. You got Load Runner and Load Runner 2. I don't think that was in the other one. Huh. Alright, so this one is actually slightly different. But I do know... It eventually repeats. We have burger time. Yeah. Not too bad, not too bad. There's F1 race, number 152. It's gonna repeat. Got Frontline in here. So every once in a while they're sneaking something new in, but in the 300s you're gonna find out that yet again see it's repeating we got Mario Bros again there's Pac-Man that's nice on that page and uh, hey Polar Bat an old favorite and I did see uh, I did see Puyan there which I do love to play got Raid on Bugling Bay that's a good one 
Yeah. Zippy Race. Pack Pack Land, which we played in a previous. Determined it was okay. Almost there. 352 has F1 Race on it. There's Hexapod War again. So, like I said, there's definitely some repetition. There's probably, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred games here total due to the repeating nature. Well, that's a lot of star. There's Spar, Star, Starfighter, Starforce, Stargate, Strafe, and Stub Game. There you go. A lot of the st games are represented. Of course, uh, annoyingly, this is not in alphabetical order. All right, we made it back to the front. Hooray. All right, here we go with some snow bros. And then we'll, uh, we'll play it off of the AV out after this. Okay, so I am gonna say that I don't hate the screen. It's really not too bad, it is quite clear. Um, yeah, really not that bad. However, I am going to point out something that I noticed earlier. Right after I kill these two here. Hold on a second. Alright, I'm going to turn this. And I don't know if you noticed, but the viewing angle. It's... It's okay vertically, but horizontally, it's a very, very, very narrow viewing angle. Alright, since I'm pretty sure this scene is getting annoying, what I'm going to do is switch to the AV. Alright, let's see if the game controller is up to some gradius. Come on, D-pad. Well, huh. I'll be darned. All right, so the D-pad is a little bit shallow. I'll say that, but I'm having no problems at all with the control. I mean, it's working great. <laughs> I'm so surprised. <laughs> I am very pleasantly shocked at the controls. I gotta say, huh, the buttons are reacting well. Yeah, let's see if we got, yeah, the second one is a, uh... yep, yeah, the second one is a rapid fire button. So the, uh, the X is a rapid fire for A. Look at that. Very nice. I would assume the Y is a uh, rapid fire for B. Sorry, I'm playing like crap. But uh, it's not due to the controller. What do you know? A pleasant surprise. Very pleasant. All right, we're going to go on. Uh, in case you're wondering, of course, we're going to be doing the F1 race test and the... Uh, the load runner test, which uh, if you haven't been on this channel before, I'll explain to you once I get to them. All right, let's get on with it. Thank you, King. <laughs> Gotta play a little dinky King. Bum bum ba da da dum. But fought me a little bit there. Huh. Huh. What's up with that? Let's see. <laughs> Seriously. It. 
Yeah. What's up with that? That was weird. Oh, I can't. Every once in a while, I can't move right in this game. <laughs> what the heck? That's generally not a problem, I see. What? It's fine here. Oh. The D-pad's... Is it collapsing every once in a while? Does this have D-pad collapse syndrome? Yeah. Uh, something is not right there. Oh. <laughs> I, that's really weird. Yeah, that's really weird. Um, every once in a while, yeah, pressing right right now. I'm just up oh, there. It took, it started going. Every once in a while, pressing right just doesn't seem to work on this game because the last game was fine. Huh. Now let's try another game. So I just blew out the D-pad, and I'm gonna try Space Invaders because this is like nothing but left right action. Okay. Just gonna try and casually play through this level. And, uh,. See if it exhibits any problems. And quite clearly, it's working just fine. All right. Let's, uh, try Donkey Kong again and see what we get. All right. So I've blown it out to see if maybe there's just some schmutz. <laughs> That's the technical... No! It's doing it again! I am... <clears throat> it... It's something in the game. Or the emulation, obviously. It... <laughs> oh, it's alright. Did I just get it? No! Here, it's not going backwards now. <laughs> there, and it, when I raise it up again, it goes. What the? <sighs> no idea. No idea. The load runner test. <laughs> I, I can't get over Donkey Kong. <laughs> Might have to start a Donkey Kong test for this. All right, so the load runner test. Uh, basically, what I'm looking for here is whether the A and B buttons dig in their respective directions. On the lowliest of Fama clones or handhelds, uh, they do reverse the controls, which makes uh, the game essentially unplayable. And guess what? This works just fine. Therefore, This game system passes the load runner test. Oh, there's the last one. Son of a gun, that's way down there. And notice again, I'm having no problem going to the right.
Perfection. Not a problem. <laughs> I'm now obsessed with left and right movement on this thing. I, I just can't get over the whole Donkey Kong thing, you know? This is Arkanoid. And, uh... Thus far... It's working just fine. By the way... Arkanoid should always be played with a paddle. This is so wrong. <laughs> it's so weird to play. Or a mouse. I mean, you can definitely play with a mouse. There's no problem there, but... My goodness. Um, that said... This is absolutely working fine, so... I guess I'm not going to knock the controls, I'm going to knock the emulation. Clearly. The problem is not in the hardware, it's in the software. Oh, I died. All right, English versus Chinese. Are there different games? I'm gonna start on the English part. Okay, wait. One, two, three. This will be Super Mario <clears throat> 9. And there we go. There's, yeah. So whatever, uh, Adventure Island hack, I believe. Okay, so that's what I get when I put it in English. So let's hit restart. Go to Chinese. One, two, three. Same thing. All right. That solves that. I was asked that a while ago whether the Chinese games are the same, and it appears that that's true. This, my friends, is Season Garden. I always like to try something new, and... Uh, I have not tried this before on a video. I've tried something similar to it though, uh, where the controls were a little bit different. You could just uh, aim your D-pad up, down, left, right, or to the corners to uh, thwack the little baddies. That was a better designed game uh, as far as gameplay goes. I have to say, um, I, I like the cut of this one's jib, you know? Oh my goodness, how fast you gotta be. Eh. Is there any uh, little animals or anything to accidentally thwack and lose points? That would be cool, right? Yep. Ah, I did. I lost 50 points. That's sweet. Uh, there. No, almost done. Did I make it? Time out. Game over. Oh, should have got those negative points. And here's Millipede. Quite a nice version of it. Even if it does look a little bit like uh, it's a CGA game. <laughs> Get that DDT. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. I missed it. I missed it. Yeah, it's going to come down. I have to wait for it to come back up. Come on. Ah! Dad, let's go on. All right, the F1 race test. All right, for those of you who have not been on this channel before, uh, one thing that many of these handhelds do is after about the first or second turn on F1 race, the controls will reverse, making the game impossible to play. Well, not impossible to play, but impossible to win. And... Going into the first turn in. Uh, yeah. Okay. Couldn't do anything. I, I can edge along if I press the right. So, yeah, here's what's... <laughs> I can't do anything. And yep, if I press the left, it's going right. And then it reverses itself back after the turn. 
That's terrible. And look, <laughs> you just kind of stop. So this does have that problem with F1 Race. It reverses the controls after the first turn. So that's a fail. Care Bear! This is going to be great. But... Oh. This is wonderful. Look at the Care Bear. Apparently he cares about stuff dropping. Oh, don't hit the lightning, I'm guessing. There's some... Oh, apparently that's not good. <laughs> it's utterly arbitrary. <laughs> I mean, it's standard within the game, but who knows what causes the Care Bear to lose out. All right, let's see if Lightning does it. Oh, I couldn't make it to it in time. Sometimes I'm not getting points for stuff, too, I notice. <laughs> okay, so... Collecting that bottle made him move slower. Okay. Clearly, clearly this game has uh, layers of depth uh, that I'm not prepared to plumb. Yeah, okay, lightning does kill him. That's good. You know what? I absolutely love Balloon Fight. I've decided. I've, I've gotten over it. I've gotten over the fact that it is a blatant knockoff of Joust. And uh, I'm on to the whole, this game actually plays pretty well. So, you know. Come on. So long, sucker. And let's get our third little friend here. Uh-oh. Nailed it. Just nailed it. All right. Oh, oh no, I lost a balloon. Come on, get the heck out of here, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna start having real problems soon here if I don't start nailing some of these guys. Watch out for that thing. No! And there we go. That's how it's done. Not a huge fan of Zippy Race, however. Uh, we're going to do it just so that we have at least one racing game that works. in this uh, video. Although, who knows? What a jerk, man! Oh, this is I-94 right here. And he purposely gets it. Look at this jerk! What a jerk! Ugh. Wiped out my motorcycle. I'm in 88th place. Really? It is really hard to pass people. I gotta say. Terrible. 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 I'm gonna run out of gas. Yeah, I've said it a couple times. I'm not a real, a real fan of this game. Get out of my way. Who came up with this AI? <laughs> it's just jerk. Jerk AI. All right, that's it. I can't take any more. Let's wrap this up. 
And that about wraps it up for the S8 game console, or just the game console, if you want to call it that, because there's no indicator that the S8 actually meant anything. Although it does say, it, it says model no, so maybe it is the S8 game console, but let's just call it the game console, because, you know, it's uh, so excellent. All right, let's start with the positives on this guy. Uh, number one, I like the screen. Um, it it's not perfect. Uh, it it has a fairly narrow horizontal viewing angle. The vertical angle is fine, but the horizontal is really pretty uh, pretty steep on it. Uh, but when you're looking right at it, <laughs> the uh, color is really nice, and it has a very very clear uh, screen. So it, it does look really nice. Another thing on the positive, boy, I love the design of this. I would love to see this this body go into uh, go into a, a better device, to be honest, uh, because I absolutely love the form factor of it and I love the construction quality of it. This feels really solid. It feels very nice, which a lot of these don't. Uh, the D-pad, I was a little bit worried about it having D-pad collapse. It didn't. It played really nice throughout if the game itself was working. And the buttons are nice. They worked absolutely great as well. Now, for the negatives. Negatives are, uh, many of the games repeat, so they didn't get as many games as they listed on here. I, I That's a nice way of putting it. The games repeat a lot, is what I'm saying. Uh, the games clearly were not tested throughout. Hey, you know what? I would gladly have 150 solidly working games than, than 500 with repeats that don't work. Can we, can we do that? Can we also get them in alphabetical order? Those, those two, those three things, I guess they're three things. They, I, I, I'd like all the ROMs to work. I know, I know, it's a lot to ask on a $10 game system, but let's face it, with the entire pool of ROMs out there, that should be something you can do. Put them in alphabetical order and make them not repeat. I just Let's start agreeing to do that. That would be great. Um, yeah, as I mentioned, not all the games worked. Uh, that was kind of a big deal. The other thing uh, that I absolutely do not like is the one-button volume. I absolutely detest one-button volume. Um... Yeah, that's that's kind of annoying. Uh, another slight detraction is it does use USB micro. It could definitely be forgiven, um, you know, on on this again ten dollar machine. But uh, I prefer USB C. Again, it's a that's a a whiny gripe though. Um, all in all, you know, I'm gonna give it a thumbs sideways. It it it's not terrible. And I really want to like it because of the positives that it does have. Um, but in the end, there's just, it's weird to say, but in the $10 space, there's just some better handhelds to be had. That's too bad because it looks freaking marvelous. Anyway, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do me a big favor. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.